Hey guys, I'm Movro and welcome back to this another tutorial of using Streamlit with OpenAI. So in this video, we will create a chatbot using OpenAI GPT-3 model and we'll implement that within our Streamlit app. So let me show you how this chatbot works, okay? So let's say we ask the chatbox, uh, what's up, right? Let's see if it can say us something or not. You see? Oh, nothing much, just chilling. How about you? And let's ask the chatbot more service like your AI assistant, which you can implement within your Streamlit app. Let's ask, uh, please uh, say a joke about, let's say, Elon Musk. Okay, nothing again, stream, just a joke about him. I hope you won't mind. Oh, we have a joke about Elon Musk saying to his girlfriend, okay, it's a chatbot who is speaking, not me. Let's Tesla together. Okay, that's pretty cool. So as you can see, the chatbot is pretty smart. Okay, out here, it does its job. It's pretty powerful out here. We are using the OpenAI's GPT-3 model, which is very powerful at this time. We will show you, I will show you during the code. We are using this text, DaVinci. It's one of the most capable GPT-3 model and that's all. It's very few lines of code, but it does the work. And most importantly, it's within your Streamlit app. If you're new to this channel, in my previous video, I have clearly shown how we can use open API. This URL out here, this account slash API keys. Here you can create your own API key, right? Uh, you will have a charge until a certain point you will be charged. I think it's around $18 after you will be charged for it. So it's better to use your own API keys and use it uh, in a very sustainable way. First thing, you need to create a new secret key, right? So once you create this new secret key, it will be created. I copy this, but you have to copy it immediately. Once it is copied, you can put the stuff, your text editor, or you can have a, your own environment variable, which you can call every time whenever you want to use OpenAPI. Perfect, once you have this part, we will go to our text editor, we'll write the codes, and I will show you how we can create this exact chat bot within Streamlit. So we'll write the Streamlit code together. Let's do that now. Okay, so we start with a new file, chatbot.py, that's a new file which we created. And also don't forget to paste your, the key, the API key, which we copied. So in case of, well, uh, creating a Streamlit uh, app, we use secrets.toml. So here we have the secrets.toml. Here I kept my API secret out here, right? That's all we need. Please refer to my previous video where we created this amazing summarizer AI app. We'll use the same thing now for the chatbot. Importing our dependencies, right? So import the libraries. For that, the first thing we need to import is import open AI. That we need because we are using open AI. Also, we need import streamlit as ST. These are the two dependencies we need. But now in order to get this chatbot features, this uh, so-called really nice way of interacting, ST chat, this has been a really nice uh, streamlit uh, component, which has been uh, created uh, by, if I'm not wrong, it's by uh, Yash, uh, Yash Power and Yash uh, Vardhan. It's a really a nice contribution. It has a lot of uh, stars also. Please uh, ensure to check this, a big shout out to them. Uh, when you come to this particular uh, repository, you will find the way how to install it. So you just need to type pip install streamlit chat and that will be installed. And you need to import this. So for importing this thing, I use this part from streamlit uh, chat. We import the message. That's all we need. Okay. So once this part is done, we are ready to write our app. Uh, before I forget, you also need to install streamlit. It's like pip install uh, streamlit. Uh, if you need to install OpenAI, pip install OpenAI. All these are written very detailed in one of the blog posts which I made along with the summarizer app. So please refer to them. Sign it. We say openai dot API key, and we call our use our streamlit dot secrets, and we put the variable which we used out here, which is the API secret variable. So how we do that? We say def 
which we say like generate response something like this and we we need to pass a prompt so this is something which we need because uh, we need to interact with the api so we have to pass a prompt to your api key and for that we use uh, let's say we use a variable completions and then here is the main part where we use open ai dot we use the completion class this is something again it's very well mentioned in the previous uh, video and also in the blog post we follow the same way how to do that we use the create method out here and then we will fill up with few arguments right the first argument is the engine which here we will use text uh, da Vinci we will use 003 which is the latest one you can also use 002 it works pretty well uh, we will use a prompt and here the prompt will be the argument which we pass out here right whatever argument we pass it will go inside it the next important thing is we ask for the maximum token so what will be the size of our output this is something very crucial right we give uh, one zero tofu you can just make it uh, less also it doesn't matter but it should be an integer value right uh, n is one it's all fine you don't need to worry much stop uh, none these are not so critical but make sure you have it but the critical thing comes here for the previous arguments please refer to the documentation it's well written out here uh, the important part is the temperature which uh, tries to understand the the randomness of the answer so if it, it, it should be a float from 0 to 1 and it, uh, right now we'll say we put something on 0.5 this is the most critical part because if you have something called 0.1 the answer will be much more precise the more you go towards one so it's 0.9 or something or one it will be much more random so it controls the randomness of the answer which you want to get from the api call so we say message and then we say completions so basically this completion the variable and we say completions dot choices and we say text that's it that's all we need it basically we are going to this choices and then we take the first index and then we say text that's all and we say return message so it will return whatever the result or the output which we get from our prompt or the prompt which us with open api that's the message we get that's all we need here we start with uh, a typical streamlit syntax so we say st.title uh, this is something if you are aware how to make streamlit apps uh, you can check my previous videos this is how you make streamlit app so this is a street typical streamlit syntax where we can just write a title out here fire streamlit now it will be in a local host okay so we fire streamlit like this streamlit run and we will say chatbot which is our python script now okay chatbot.py we press enter here and now if you see it will open your local host as you can see here it's going to the local host now uh, let's see how so look the chatbot the title is already there right and now we will write few more lines uh, in order to store our interaction with the chatbot which is uh, basically not so difficult uh, it's uh, if you know about streamlit syntax the session state it stores the value or whatever it can be a, it can be a string it can be your data frames it stores within a particular session read more about streamlit or session state in my previous videos or mainly in the documentation of streamlit you will know it's very simple to use a demo app which in this particular github repository they have shown uh, the credit goes to them just to give this idea otherwise i was planning to make a simple uh, ai assistant but this is something very cool which how they did it so i will just rather copy and paste from here right let's see how they use the session state so i copy this part and i paste it here so they have gen uh, they have a session state generated something it's like a dictionary which you have uh, if not in session state they create that so it's like session state generator which is empty now also the past conversation which is also empty so basically here we have a text prompt kind of the kind uh, the most initial text prompt which we provide to our chatbot and we get the return out of it as a string that's all that's we need for that you can write it yourself also something else also you don't need to have a function for it it's just it's always easy when you have a function out there right we call this function so we call it as user input and we say get text 
That's it. So every time we run this function, we get the text. Once we are done until this part, we have still not used this function, our main function where we create the response. We have not done that yet. So let's try to implement that. If there is a user input, so if there is a user, it's not empty. If there is a user input there, we will use output. We will first time now call our function, which is the generate response, right? Generate response. And what we will put, what will be our prompt here? Our prompt will be the text which we get from here, right? So this is basically our prompt, the user input. That's it. Store the output to our session state. That's the whole purpose of using session state. Stream lit session state out here. So how we store it? ST dot ST dot session state and we use the past. So basically we use store it to the past variable which we introduced here. Past dot append it. So basically we're using the append, met append method to store every time whatever you get. So this was what we asked, the user input. And we will also store the output, right? The both of them needs to be uh, stored here. Generated text. So basically we need to store this thing, the generated, that variable we need. And we will append that also. And this will be our output. So what we do, we store both the input which the user has given and also the output. I think this makes it clear why we need the session state. I mean, if we don't put this part, our app won't remember our previous chat with the bot. So in order to remember the previous chat, we need the session state right now. Our app doesn't have any output. So how are we going to do that? So if st dot session state and then we say like, uh, let's say generate this thing which we put, you can put it as a dot format or you can put it like this also if there is a generated output we loop over it so it idea came from here and i just copying and pasting okay this is the part which i really like that's all we need and we are now ready to look at our app and let's see how the chat uh, bot works with us right how it interacts i'm pretty sure it will be pretty good and let's see now our chat bot i press the always rerun out here if you can see oh we get uh, error out here so we need to use stop okay it's not stop and we go back here the temperature spelling is not correct let me debug that also temperature i press always to rerun oh it works now look our chat is up we have a streamlit app with a chatbot implemented i will edit this part and i will say uh, tell me a quick recipe to make Thank you. So we are running, we are sending this to our open API, uh, API and it will give us some return. What is the message out? All the previous conversation is saved out there. That's where the power of session state comes. Every time session state stores all the output, the input as well as the output. It's going on in this session. When I refresh, it goes back to the original state. But if I don't refresh it, the, the chat of the input and from the board all is saved. That's where the power of uh, streamlit session state comes. And also you see how the output comes here. Let's try one last time. Uh, tell me how to subscribe to a YouTube channel. Oh, so you know why I'm asking this. If you guys really like this video, please go to my YouTube channel, press the subscribe button and also share it with others. It's a very easy app to make, very easy stream lit bot to make and I hope you guys understood this part and please uh, share this thing, leave your feedbacks and let me know how you feel about it. I will make more videos on open AI APIs integrated with Streamlit. I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. So for now, that's all. Cheers. Bye.